I'm starting to think that, you know what I'm saying, a lot of these entertainers are getting inducted in the 27 Club. Because first we have Young Marlo, or young, Lou Marlo, who died at 27. Welcome to the 27 Club. And now you got August Alcina. I'm starting to think that this whole thing is a ritual for August Alcina. Because August Alcina is 27 also. And dipping and dipping. Now he ain't dipping. This is a motherfucking ritual. I won't be too surprised if motherfucking them orcas Alcina end up taking a dirt nap next. Building them up to take them out. I'm probably, you know what I'm saying, the 27 Club. So to me, yeah. But, um, so he, so he casting over with another woman, huh? Yeah, you already know. I guess around what time? When their fucking marriage is falling apart. This is from MediaTakeOnMe.com. Article headline, August Alcina, the friend's fiance, at time her marriage was falling apart. The August Alcina drama seems to be continuing and getting more interesting. According to an ABC News online reporter from years ago, we had take out news I learned that August Alcina and Beyonce became friends in 2014 at the peak of her marital problem with her husband, Jay-Z. So he, so August Alcina is the new super, the male version of Superhead. You already know. What's he going to do? Come out with a book talking about how many celebrities he done slept? <laughs> you already know. Uh, and I had all of them. And didn't have none. And and the, the, the sad thing about it is, in the media, it may seem it may seem like he had them all, but in reality, he didn't have none. Yeah, I won't be too surprised. As all this, well, yeah, I won't be too surprised. As all this is just you know what I'm saying, some type of hype that's going around. Don't seem right. Just don't. But go ahead, brother. While writing, according to according to ABC, oh no, 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 I already read that. Jay Z has admitted to cheating on Beyonce, and that their marriage nearly ended. Now there's run. All right, so when uh, when Jay Z said he uh, cheated on Beyonce, he didn't like really cheat because they're not really together. The nigga just. Saying you know, went out to fuck another dude, but well, yeah, yeah, that's sure what I was gonna it. say. I was gonna say that you notice August Alcina is going after the women, <laughs> well, so called quote unquote, going after the women that their husbands is already messing with other men. I mean, come on, it's not a secret that you all saying Will Smith like boxing draws. And it's not a secret that Jay Z like boxing draws. These two men don't like panties. You know what I'm saying? They don't like taking the panties off the woman and they don't like putting the panties on the woman. They like boxing draws. Preferably boxing draws with skid marks. But you notice August Alcina is going after Well, so I'ma say quote unquote because you know what I'm saying? Now I'm starting to think, you know what I'm saying, that this is just some type of, this is some type of ritual. It is. Go ahead, Brother Joe. What happened, man? I said this is some type of ritual because you said um, he started talking to Beyonce in 2014. Uh, August Alcina? Yeah, right. Became friends in 2014, you know, at the peak of her marital problem. Yeah, I'm starting to think that this is a ritual. But uh, go ahead, Brother Israel. 
Now there's growing speculation on social media that while Beyonce was putting up with her husband's shenanigans, whether she may have gotten into an entanglement or her own with August. Let me tell you, let me, let me, let me let you women in on something here. Why are you even going through the stuff that you're going through? Because, see, if you married your husband, you you got you you got vows there. So if your husband cheated on you, your husband cheated, broke the vows, committed adultery. Why are you still with that nigga? You know what I'm saying? Because, let me tell you something. If a nigga is going to cheat, he's going to continue to cheat. You know what I'm saying? The same way you can't force nobody to stop smoking weed, they got to quit on their own. The same way you can't force nobody to stop smoking crack, they got to quit on their own. The same way you can't force nobody to stop, you know what I'm saying, stripping on a stripper pole. They got to, you know what I'm saying, you can't force nobody to stop drinking an alcoholic because they got to quit on their own. You know what I'm saying? It's the same way you cannot force a cheater to stop cheating. You cannot threaten a cheater to stop cheating because that cheater is going to always just going to find another way to cheat. So that you won't be able to find out. So stop trying to listen. Stop listening to these. You know what I'm saying? These men when they talk about. Oh I'm not going to cheat no more. Da, 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 da. Stop that. He lying to you. He's just trying to make it right with you. So that you know what I'm saying? He know that he got you in the bag. So that he can you know. Go out and be like. Yeah she's good. Don't worry. She trusts me again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And take it from somebody who knows shit. I'm, I'm, I'm living. I'm a living experience about that. You know what I'm saying. I'm the one that you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. That's me all the way. So take it from somebody who knows about. You know what I'm saying. A cheater is going to cheat no matter what chick I was messing with. You know what I'm saying? If that chick caught me, I'm just going to motherfucking them say whatever it takes to ease that woman's mind. Once that woman's mind is eased, I say, okay, boom, I got it. Let me go ahead and do what I usually do. And that's real talk. And you're only going to get it from me real, real like it over, over here on Gospel Talk Radio. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, go ahead, Brother Israel. Alrighty. And then there's a pic of um of the seen on Beyonce. So how did the two meet? Well me to take our news learned that it was Beyonce who initiated their first conversation. Okay, Beyonce. Listen to how August describes how Beyonce pressed up on him at a concert. See, the reason why I say I think this is a ritual and this is, they play, the elites is playing a big game on you all. Because who is putting this out? August Alcina's camp? Or Beyonce's camp? Or none of the above? See, and, and what, and because so nothing gets leaked. Who's putting this out? Who's fighting? Who, who? Now they got pictures. Where's all this shit coming from? Why is it coming out now? You know what I'm saying? I think this is the Elise playing a big ass game and a big ass. Because I come in here this in 2014. Exactly. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. What is that, six years? Yeah. Everything else came out. But the Elise is playing a big game on you all. This is a ritual, a big ritual slash, you know what I'm saying, distraction. Because how many, look, look how big, look how much of a distraction uh, the Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith and August Alcina thing. That had the minds of the people. Every social media's mind was on Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith. That ass social media. As soon as I got off the 
as soon as we got done doing that news report, you know, I went to Facebook to see what's going on. Mm-hmm. The first thing I seen was that Red Table Talk shit that, uh, uh when she was saying that on Christmas. And I called you right away. I was like, that, yo. Oh. Uh, that Red Table Talk is blowing up right now. Yeah. See? It's a big distraction. Now, now, now they own uh, Beyonce. It's a big distraction and they, because you know now everybody gonna be talking about this and look one look for more information and shit. But where is it coming from and who the hell is putting all this shit out? Who's putting these pictures out? Who had these pictures? Did August Alcina had these pictures, or did Beyonce had these pictures? Who took it? So whoever took it, it was in their phone or or whatnot. So who took these pictures? Find out who took these pictures. Because it's a big game that's being played on you all. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Beyonce is one of the people that I was like, man, I like to meet Beyonce. And then it happened so randomly. I went to a concert with Jesus. Everybody was drinking, and I went to the back, and I was looking down at my phone. And I guess I just didn't see her because she was sitting to the side. And she was like, well, hello. And I said, oh, excuse me. Okay, stop right there. Beyonce and Jay-Z is on another level. Who the hell is August Alcina? Because I'm pretty sure the baby can't party with Beyonce. You seen what happened when, uh, what's her name, Megan Thee Stallion found out that Beyonce did a remix? She was so excited. And Megan Thee Stallion is a star, but she's not on the level of Beyonce. They don't party in the same places. High level witches and low level witches. They don't party in the same places. That's why uh, 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 Megan Thee Stallion was so crying. Oh, I'm I'm so emotional. I I can't believe Beyonce lays me. Come on, man. And sh- Megan Thee Stallion is a star. And you mean to tell me August Alcina? What did he come out with? How big of a star is he? He can he can get that close to damn Beyonce like that? Beyonce go to the same clubs, them August Alcina? Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Anyway. Go ahead, Brother Israel. Um, oh, excuse the hell out of me. I'm sorry, Miss Lady. How are you doing? August adds that he was surprised that Beyonce even recognized him. It is cool to actually know that these people know who you are and they're aware of your movement. So it was cool that they knew my music or knew what I'd done and respected it enough to say, hey man, we're going to the club. Are you coming or not? Yeah, that's, that's it on that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to believe that Beyonce is going to go to a club with August Alcina. A low-level mu- musician is going to, you know what I'm saying, get that close to a high-level music. Oh, come on, man. This is a, a, at least playing a big game on you all. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour right here on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. And my co-host is Brother Lamy Israel. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button, hit that like button, share button, comment button. Until next time, stay tuned. God bless you. We out.